Welcome back to Teapot Talk with Julia. Today I'm showing you some of my restaurant wear teapots. Uh, I really love restaurant wear. It's uh, at home, I've for years I've used vintage restaurant wear plates as my everyday plates and they all match and they go through the dishwasher, they're sturdy, they're probably 60 years old and I just love them. And I have uh, quite a few little teapots and cups, just all kinds of different dishes that I like to use at home. And um, the first one here is one of the first that I got when I was living in California and it was made by Mayor Chuck China, which was established in 1881 in Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. And it was started by Ernest and Joseph Mayer, and they were sons of a renowned potter in Staffordshire, England. And um, as you know, Staffordshire was very is very famous for their teapots and their clay. So they were very familiar with how the good English teapots were made. And that was advantageous for them <laughs> in the China industry in America. Um, in 1923, Joseph's sons took over the company and they started making vitrified China, which was, as we would say today, trending at the time. And they became very popular in the restaurant wear industry. And they made uh, dishes for restaurants, hotels, railroads, steamships, and they ev eventually became the official China of airlines, um, Delta, United, and Western, I believe. And so um, it was. It's it was a really big company. Uh, another one I have, this nice little fall teapot that I have, was made by Jackson, and it was um, in Falls Creek, Pennsylvania, started in 1914. And then I have this little uh, Sterling teapot that I thrifted, and it was, made, it was made by Sterling, and Sterling is in Wellsville, Ohio, and it still exists, and they are the China makers who make the dishes for the Iwani Hotel in Yosemite, and my sister has some of those because she is a big Yosemite fan. Um, today we have the cinnamon roll black tea, and this is a really nice one, especially for the cooler weather. It's a Chinese Ceylon with um, cinnamon pieces, and it's a good uh, black caffeinated tea. And I like to use my little teapots as creamers, so I've got tea in one and I've got cream in the other. And this is a Homer Laughlin cup, so, and I've got a sugar cube in it already. The cinnamon roll is really good with cream and sugar, in my opinion. I've got this, and these little, using it as creamers is really nice because I can just stick it in the refrigerator when I'm done, and it kind of dribbles there. And being that it's fall and it's getting cooler outside, this is a really nice one to start the morning and on a nice, crisp, cool fall morning. And that is delicious. Um, I'd also like to remind you that we are on YouTube and um, our YouTube channel is Pinecone Cottage Tea House and you can follow us and like and subscribe and you can see all my videos and Pam's Cottage Core Gardening videos. Um, and also my Don't Spill the Tea uh, etiquette tutorial is coming up on Friday, October 11th here at the Tea House at 6 p.m. And I will be teaching some of the formal etiquette and also just how to create a beautiful tea setting in daily life. Um, I hope that you are having a wonderful October and enjoying this crisp, cool weather, and we will see you at the Tea House.